like the sound of this thing. It's nice. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Show and I'm a litigator at Bernkopf Goodman. Been here since about 1981. I've been playing the mandolin for about 35 years. I studied classical violin for about eight years, all the way through high school. Then I took up guitar, and then I started playing mandolin in a band because it's strung the same way as a violin, so it was an easy jump. I play almost every day, and then so. It's a passion. I play every day at home, and Sunday afternoons play with some other folks, and on Tuesday night I play in a dive in Cambridge with other folks, and every now and then we play gigs and perform concerts. All right, this is a song called Dog's Waltz. mandolin community stands in sharp contrast to the lawyer community. The mandolin community is made up of folks that age 6 to 80 or 90 of people that like to play this kind of music. It is a um, hodgepodge of music that draws from classical to klezmer to blues to folk to country and rock. So I go to festivals as much as I can. I go every year to a place called Merle Fest down in North Carolina where I have a lot of friends to do this music. Fest is great. It's about 13 venues all at once. It's about 80,000 people. It's in beautiful North Carolina in the end of April, so it's all green, contrast to here. And it's, it's a kick because I get the chance to play with people that I can't talk to because the draw is so deep I don't understand it. But nevertheless, we all play. And we stay up all night. There's a little bit of moonshine sometimes, but it interferes with the playing, so we kind of keep that down. Merle Fest is one of the largest ones. Most of them are smaller than that. The last one I went to is in Northern California called Grass Valley. Ponderosa Pines cover the entire site, and there's probably about three to 5,000 people there, and that's a fun one. They're all over the country, and all over Canada, and actually in Europe as well. Okay.